Good early, early morning to you, YouTube. Let me show her some light here. She can see what's going on. Um, old chubby 4x4, sitting in the little Nissan. Because it's raining. Oh, it runs good, don't it? There she goes. Woo! Wow. At any rate, it is raining, and uh, I've been riding my bike every day to work. So now, today, I've got to drive this, and uh, this has atrocious tires on it. Absolutely horrible tires. So, uh, I'm hoping that I can get to work and back without at least one of them blowing apart, because the spare is worse than the... Uh, uh, tires that are in the truck car. I played and I getting tires this weekend. I was hoping this rain would hold off. It didn't. Oh yeah, another thing is, I haven't driven this truck more than about three miles since I've, uh, since I rebuilt the motor. And I have no idea what to expect. So, uh, that's always a good thing too. Now I'm going to drive at 50 miles and hope for the best. Alrighty guys, we'll see what happens. Well, so far this trial by fire is going somewhat alright, or trial by water, I guess. Uh, these windshield wipers are flipping atrocious, I can't see a damn thing through. The tires are not a whole lot better, they're shaking and vibrating, and every time I hit a freaking little puddle of water, they try to make me go floating away from a place I don't want to go. Wow, this is, uh... All kinds of good times. The truck's running good though. Running a little hot. You can see that. It's like halfway up the gate. I don't know, maybe that's where this truck runs. I'm not sure. Like I said, this is the farthest I've driven it. And it's holding together. So, our journey continues, my friends. Alright, so here we are. I'm just about to work. We made it through the first freaking uh, shakedown run. Now if I make it all the way home and to the tire place, I'll be in really good shape. I'll be happy with that. I'll accept that. But, uh, oh, on other developments, my other camera is out of commission because my computer no longer can communicate with it for some reason. New drivers, everything doesn't matter. Won't do it, flat out refuses. So I've got crap on there that I guess I never bought. Oh well, what are you going to do, right? Well, I'm about to pull off into work. Y'all have a wonderful evening. I know I'm going to have a wonderful day. Well, happy Friday evening to you now. Um, the last time I spoke to you, it was 20 to 6 in the morning. It's now about quarter after 7 in the evening. And look, it made it home. And look at that. The weekend's first beer. How wonderful. That's not really the weekend yet. Tomorrow night will be the weekend for me. Oh, uh, one of those good long ones. Well, at any rate, we took the truck to work, brought it home. No issues with the tires other than a rough ride and quite a bit of hydroplaning. Um, left here, went to the tire store. Good guy, I was hoping to get a set of used tires from him, but uh, it didn't really work out that way. I ended up coming home with a set of 235-7515 Firestone Destination ATs. Um, not a bad looking little tire, really. The tread, pretty decent all-terrain tread. Relatively aggressive looking side, well, you know, I mean, it's not a bad looking tire. Fits the truck well, a lot better than the 205 70 15s that were on there. I think it looks uh, a little more stout with those tires on there. And then, of course, on the way home, we had to take the back road and look for as much mud as I could find, which wasn't very much. But I got it a little dirty anyways. Well, there it is, guys. There's uh, nice shiny new tires and a whole bunch of money gone away with those. But at least they ought to last a while. Pretty deep looking tread on them. Oh. Oh, boy, you can't see them. Destination ATs. Well, that was the last big purchase for this truck. Um, hopefully. I'm really hoping. Got a couple little things to to uh, finish up. I've only got one backup light working. Oh, it's a little, little minor things to address. And my next project 
will be right here in the back of the truck. The guy I work with needs this fixed up for his nephew and his go-kart. So I'll be tearing into that full of five horsepower Briggs. Uh, probably tomorrow evening after work, maybe, or maybe Sunday, something. We'll get that in the shop and, and uh, see what we can do with it. So see you then. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.